If I come around you, can I be myself? Wind up in the mirror just to see yourself. If I was in your shoes, I would hate myself. Left all this behind to be with someone else. So why should I fake it anymore? If I find the thing that work that can you take it anymore? This time I am left and I'll be wasted anymore. You realize it now when you win this Hello everyone, my name is Torian. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before I get into anything, I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone out there and I hope you guys are enjoying your new holidays. I actually made like two or three YouTube videos before this one and they didn't come to my liking. So I ended up deleting all of the footage. I feel like I'm not creating the best quality content. I don't want to post it. I don't want to show it to anyone. But I don't want to really get into that because I feel like I'm just going to be talking about it. I don't want to keep talking about the same thing. And I'm never going to get over it if I keep talking about it, right? So today I actually made plans to hang out with one of my co-workers. Well, not my co-worker no more. We were co-workers, but we don't work together no more and we became friends. Today we made plans to go to the mall and then we're going to go find something to eat. I've been really in the mood to eat some pasta lately. I don't know why, I think because I haven't had it in a while. My mom always makes the best homemade pasta and I just, I just want some pasta, like, I don't know why. I already have my outfit picked out because I have to leave in about 15, 20 minutes and I wanna make sure I'm on time. Being on time is one of the most important things for me. I don't like being late. Time I'm late is when I have to go to work and I'm clocking in in someone else's job because I really don't want to be there. I don't really have anything to talk about on camera today. I just wanted to get a vlog in because I feel like I haven't posted in forever. And I hate not posting for a long time because I have to get reintroduced to my camera again. That's just a whole nother thing that I don't like. When y'all come to make content and vlog, then maybe y'all will get it one day. So I don't have a lot of subscribers on this channel and I know that. It's because I haven't really been promoting this channel. I'm trying to gradually build a following count on YouTube, but I feel like I just don't promote myself enough. And I'm gonna get better with that. Some of my friends don't even support my YouTube channel. They don't even share my videos. They don't post my YouTube channel, which I don't care. But when y'all have y'all own thing, expect me to be showing my full support. I have my outfit out already. I already did my hair. And one moment, look at the hair y'all. Like, look at the part. Like, I did this myself. I've been having numerous amount of people commenting on my hair like men and women i want to see y'all at the mall because i don't want to film a get ready with me because i always feel weird doing a get ready with me i feel like they don't turn out well so i'll probably see y'all at the mall bye Welcome back to my channel again. Um, I started recording on the 29th of last month and we are currently in February, February the 4th. Um, this vlog was not supposed to take that long, but I end up going back and looking at the previous video and the video wasn't long enough. I think I had about 20 minutes and when it narrowed down to um, the duration time of the video, it was only like five, four minutes. 
And so I felt like that wasn't long enough. And I also didn't want to leave y'all with a cliffhanger. The video came out really nice. I feel like when I usually record videos and edit, it don't turn out to my liking and I end up just deleting the video. This video, I don't, I don't want to delete it. Like, I feel like I really honestly like this video and I genuinely want to post it. Yesterday, I started my new job or whatever. So that's why I didn't finish this video yesterday, which was Friday. Basically, I was running around doing paperwork. I don't really want to go into details with my job life because if you know me personally, you know I have like 30 jobs. Like, it's nothing for me to quit a job. Like, I will up and leave quick. If I, like, I don't need to be there and that's not my kind of space, then I'm gone. Like, I have like nine tax forms. <laughs> It's a good thing I'm not going to file them myself. Since we are here, like, I do want to talk about some things about my channel that aren't really important, but I feel like that would be important to my channel. Really, my channel is about fashion and traveling. I also want to collab with other people as well and do, like, pranks or, like, challenges. But not like the fake ones, because I don't like that. Um, I do a lot of unboxings. Sometimes I like to do them on my YouTube channel, or I like to do them on my Instagram. But if you want to see some of those unboxing videos, my Instagram at is Young. T-H-E-T-A-U-R-E-A-N, Y-O-U-N-G, on TikTok as well. And my Instagram name is the same as my uh, TikTok name. People think I'm rich, but I'm not rich. Like, I really just be saving money and I buy what I want. I know a lot of people don't have those advantages and they kind of look at me different. Like, I got money or something. I don't got no money. Like, I literally be saving up for what I want. My YouTube channel is going to be personal, but y'all not going to know about my personal life. Like, I feel like that's just off limits because y'all going to be in my business, but not know my business. I don't know how to explain that, but I just feel like some YouTubers overdo it with letting y'all in on their private life because I feel like some supporters and fans, like, overdo it with spreading the wrong kind of information online and i feel like that's wrong but who am i to tell someone what not to do like y'all gonna do what y'all want to do so if i don't put the information out there like how y'all gonna get it i always been like this mysterious kind of person like you know me but you don't know me also if you want to know how long i've been doing youtube i've been doing youtube for like a little under a year but i had my camera for like a whole year because I had the camera but I wasn't creating videos because I didn't know how to start my channel off so I went on like TikTok and like YouTube to like try to see how people were branding their channel and my channel was kind of looking like other people's channel and I wanted to do something different because I didn't like that and I have a lot of other ideas that I want to do it's just um they're going to take a lot of financial aspects to take me there I don't know if it'll take me to the top, but it's gonna get me to where I need to be at and how I want my channel displayed. Anything other than that, I feel like those are like some important topics like about me or like my channel. I'm like really boring. Like I bet everyone think like I'll be out like every night. I'll be clubbing, partying, smoking, drinking. No, I don't. Like after I go to work, and I come straight home, shower, eat, sleep, and the rotation just goes on and goes on and i'm trying to get to where i don't be stuck into that mentality because i don't want to be stuck i don't know how to explain it but like you have people that are like stuck they're stuck in like a trance and they think they're supposed to go to work every day like work at the same job for a long time and i feel like that is part of the reason why i job hop because I never get too comfortable. I feel like when you're in your 20s, even your 30s, you should job hop, like find out what you really want to do and like what career you want to create for yourself. Don't work under anyone's business for 20 years in the same job field and you haven't moved nowhere yet. Like you haven't became a manager or you don't even own any stock. Like. How can you do that to yourself? Like, I feel like that is another kind of slavery. But I don't want to go into detail with that. I had bring it up to this lady or whatever. And she was trying to argue me down like I was wrong. 
But I feel like if you don't put yourself out there and over to the top, you just won't end up nowhere in life. Like, you'll always be stuck in the same rotating cycle. And it kind of sucks for some people. They always think, like, they can't be bigger. They can't do better. And that just sucks. Because I've never been like that. I always thought, like, I could be bigger and better. And I actually had a conversation with my friend, I want to say, like, two nights ago this friend actually told me like they they admire me because i always go out for what i want and i do i'm not gonna lie like if i'm not if i'm settling for less that's just disrespectful to myself like i, I always want to go over and beyond like i never want to be stuck in the same spot if you guys have made it this far please subscribe to my youtube channel for more content like this and thank you guys so much for watching my videos peace out